Hello, hey, welcome to Quarantine Cooking. Today I'm doing something really, really simple. It's up there with the great soups of the world. It's up there with your boulebets and your borscht. It's none other than the Cullen Skink. Um, simple ingredients, but if you get the best simple ingredients, you have the best soup. We got shallots, we got uli, we got potatoes, and we got garlic. And in here we have, other than that, a bit of bay leaf, right? So this dish, it's all, it's all about simplicity and I buy the best smoked haddock I can find. Um, you know, I've got the, the Arbro Smoky and for me, that is my personal favorite. With that, I poach it in milk and I'm talking about good ingredients again. Uh, it's from our friends out in Ockentillock, Loch Lomond, uh, a mother and daughter team and they produce incredible, incredible milk. It's unhomogenized and I like that extra fattiness you know, in it without having to add extra cream. So what I've done here, I've, I've just slowly, slowly, slowly poached my fish, all right? So I, I've done all my dices, you know, all my little chefy touches. You don't need to do it as fine as that, but that's the way I'm trained, that's the way I'm gonna do it. With all the trim, nothing goes to waste. It all goes in here. And you got the, the trim of the potato, which you know some people look at me and think I'm mad, but the action of the potato gives off beautiful flavor. Plus some of the starches go into the milk, which helps to thicken it at the end. You've got your, your leek, you got your um, your shawa, and you've got some garlic. Beautiful. So that comes up, I don't bring it to the boil. I, for me, it's very important not to bring it to the boil. I bring it up just under a simmer and I leave it there for about 10 minutes. And then I let it cool down. I let it relax. You don't want to get too much heat in there because too much heat, it, um, it really affects the, um, the tenderness of the flesh and you want it to be really, really tender. Right, so first thing you do after you have that ready, a little bit of oil in the pan and with the oil, some butter. Then you're straight in with the shallots. Frying away nicely, the heat is down low. Okay, I've got the heat down low. I don't want to cook them too quickly. I want to take out all the, the moisture from them and I want to sweeten them up. With this, I'm going to add a little bit of salt. So the, the salt helps the, the shallots to cook evenly. What salt does, it draws moisture out, okay? Next, you can see the, the shallots becoming nice and sweet, right? You can tell that by looking at them and you can smell it, right? After that, I've got my leeks. You know, you might want to chop these up um, quite rough, large. You can chop them up however you like. I prefer them like this. Add these in. So next, we're gonna add a little bit of butter. I can see by looking at it, it needs uh, just a little bit of extra butter in there, a bit of extra fat in there. Right, so after this, we got our garlic. You know, it's funny as chefs, we've all got our favorite knives. I've got a multitude of knives. I've got ones I like to use at home, the ones I like to use at work. But this is a friend of mine's and it has a very special place in my heart. Okay, so, that butter, starting to melt, the shallots and the leeks cooking beautifully. You can smell, it's getting quite sweet. And literally, this is how quick it is. This is how quick and easy, it's just a matter of cooking your shallots, cooking your leek, having your stock, boom, done, easy. Simple, grate it in. So, now we've got our garlic in, we've got our shallots, we've got our leek. We don't, we don't want any color on this, no color at all. I just want to bring the natural sweetness out in these three components. Make sure there's nothing catching around the edges. Cheers. Absolutely beautiful. As you can see, it's uh, sweated down nicely, no color, it smells beautiful. Next. We got the potatoes. You'll notice I didn't chop them all perfectly, like the, the leeks and the shallots, um, but you don't need to. What you're looking for with this, you're looking for it to break down slightly, you're looking for that chunky potato in there, but you're also, you wanted it rustic. 
this is what thickens your soup. Again, I don't want any colour on any of this, no colour at all. But I do want to sweat my potatoes out a little bit. Okay, so I'll bring up the heat a little bit, right? And then again, potatoes need a lot of salt. Um, you'll, you'll know that for making mashed potato or any sort of potato dish, they absorb all that salt and eat it. So another little bit of um, sea salt in there and stir. It's important to keep it moving. And I'll show you this again. I, I don't want to keep annoying you and keep banging on with the same things, but it's, it's quite important in my mind not to have too much in there. Don't overcrowd your pan. You see that? I've got plenty of space in there. You see, not too much in there. Everything's cooking evenly. And so next to do now, I've got my potatoes in there, my shallot, my leeks, my garlic, you know, smelling great. And um, but it's a fish soup. <laughs> so what I've done, as I told you earlier on, I didn't make a stock. I, I, I didn't feel necessary to make a stock. That's not how I make my, my cullen skink. And, and some people might be watching this going, what's this Irishman talking about, talking shy? But no, it, it's, it's very important for me. Um, the milk is the stock, okay? So when you put that beautiful milk, you buy the best milk you can find, and, and you use that beautiful milk, and that is your stock. You know, that milk's got loads of character, loads of flavor, loads of fat. Um, and now it's got a beautiful smoky flavor. Um, with that, you know, look at that. Okay, so everything's in there. I've got my fish, I've got my shallots, I've got my leeks, I've got my potato, I've got my bay leaf. Very important part, the bay leaf. It smells beautiful. Um, and all I have to do now is stick this into the pan with my potatoes and my shallots. I don't want to add any of this rough cut veg. I don't want to add any chunks of fish to this just yet. But I don't want my potatoes and, and my vegetables to burn. So, straight in. I've got my stock in here with my potatoes, so I'm going to cook that out nicely. I don't want to overcook my potatoes, I like to keep a, a little bit of bite to them. Um, but it is important to cook them and the starch from the potatoes comes out and starts to thicken up your, your soup. Okay, so I've got that. I've turned up the heat somewhat, so it's about three quarters now. While it's cooking, right, I want to pick the meat from, from the bones. Add all the wee bones, break it up a little bit. Not too much. You want to be able to chew on the fish. Really nice. Right, so the soup's cooking away nicely. Fish is picked, and um, but. I need to finish it with something, you know, I don't have any parsley in my fridge um, and I don't grow any parsley in my garden, but I do grow chives so I'm just going to get some of it back in a second. Smokiness, sweetness from the, the leeks and the shallots and the garlic and, and the beautiful rich milk. Don't worry if the milk kind of looks like it's separate in a wee bit, it's just a high fat content milk, it doesn't really matter. And you get that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cheddar. Look at this is everything in one bowl. This is your full meal, you don't need anything else to this. You've got your vegetables, you've got your carbohydrate, you've got your protein, you've got flavour, bags and bags of flavour. It's perfect, perfect for a lockdown environment. There you go. You can almost say it's a bit of a stew. Right, there you go. I hope you enjoyed um, watching me make a wee bit of Colin Skink in my kitchen.